What's up travelers, welcome back to the channel. As J Aviation HQ coming to with, with another video for you guys today. Today we have another massive unboxing for you guys to do today. In this package here we have quite a few models in this box today. We've got nine model aircraft, we should have nine. Um, got Phoenix, we've got NG models, we've got Gemini jets. But before, before we go any further into today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to show your support moving forward. And of course, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below and ding that bell icon to be notified when videos go live on the channel. As you can see, there are some model aircraft on the airport today, scattered around the airport today in today's video. But of course, those model aircraft will be in a future airport update coming to the channel very, very soon. I believe it will be episode number 22 for the airport. Uh, but going into today's um, unboxing video today, as mentioned, we should have nine model aircraft in this package. Hopefully, at nine out of nine being uh, non-defected models. But uh, first of all, going to have to um, give a huge shout out to my mate Alexi in Thailand for helping me out um, with these model aircraft. I've uh, got another um, uh, box coming very soon to the channel, or an unboxing video for the channel that is. So do stick around for that. Make sure you go and give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. And of course, then that bell icon to not miss out any future videos on this channel. So going forward into the unboxing, I've got my crafting um, craft knife in my hand. Let's go ahead and unbox this package. So as mentioned, coming from Thailand uh, today, arrived today, um, the 25th of October 2023, for those who are watching in the future. Um, so hopefully the models in here are in good nick. I should uh, remind you guys that um, my, my my unboxings for model aircraft aren't too um, uh, you know professional, I should say. Um, they aren't scripted, unlike my. Um, Unlike my uh, model reviews, I should have some model reviews coming to, to, soon to the channel as well. So hopefully you can stick around and and watch them as well. Let's see if I can open up this tab for a moment. Pretty warm here in New Zealand today. Um, I am struggling a little bit with the heat. Not too much fan a fan of the heat. Do let me know in the in the comments below. Uh, where you are watching from um, and what models you, you have recently got in your collection uh, what your favorite airline is and it's and interesting stuff like that so we finally have the the box open did see some of them that we'll be looking at today let's lift up this Quite an array of model aircraft in today's unboxing video. So starting off, number one for today's video, we'll be having a look at this Thai Airways Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner by NG Models. I will put when this model was released in the corner right about here. Um, whether it was the month and the year of it. Looking forward to getting this one out in the open. The box is, is a little bit uh, interesting. So I'll get that out in the open soon enough. Number two for today's video, we'll be looking at this uh, Mongolian Airlines Boeing 787-9 at Dreamliner by NG Models. This one here is quite um, interesting. This, what, this aircraft was a, not taken up by the airline. But then it was, uh, the this particular airframe was the one that was coloured in the Riyadh Air livery. And that particular airframe is not, no longer in the livery. And it is going back to this airline. Um, quite interesting. So I will be getting that one out in a moment. Juliet Uniform-1789 will be in the registration of that one. Next one we'll be looking at. The third 787 in today's video will be the Ornipon Airways Boeing 787-9 wearing the Star Alliance livery. Uh, Julia Alpha 872 Alpha, very, very nice 
indeed cannot wait to get this what this one out number four for today's video finally this one's in my collection the scoot boeing 787-9 in the pikachu jet livery of course nine of the dash zero uh, oscar juliet juliet in the pokemon pikachu jet livery very very excited to get this one out in the open was a massive fan of um, Pokemon back in the day. Just made myself sound very old saying that. Um, Alright, let's get some more of these out. We've got quite a few more. Number five for today's video. We've got uh, the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. This is Papa hotel dash Bravo Victor Victor, I believe. Yeah, it's right there. Very cool indeed. This one's called the National Park of Cocos. Very nice indeed. Must be a destination on um, KLM's network. Very cool. Number six for today's video, we've got uh, the Emirates Airbus A380-800 in the regular livery. This one here is registered as Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Victor. Looking forward to getting this one out in the open. Very cool indeed. I do like the A380, especially in Emirates' new livery, which was released by Gemini Jets in recent times. I did actually acquire that thanks to Alexi as well, so that should be coming in the mail very, very soon once it, it arrives, of course. Uh, the next one in today's video, we've got a quite, quite a special one here. This is the Atlas Air Boeing 747-8. This is wearing the um, Apex Log Logic livery. You can see the decals there on, on the aircraft there. This, of course, was the last ever 747 to be built and, of course, delivered to the airline. Very, very cool. Cannot wait to get that one out in the open. Um, this one, next one in today's unboxing, we've got the Thai Airways Boeing 777-300ER by Phoenix Models. Of course, the Atlas Air was also by Phoenix Models. Uh, Hotel Sierra dash Tango Bravo Bravo. I think it was the last of the. Thai Airways 777s to be delivered. Do let me know in the comment section below if I am wrong in saying that. I'm um, looking forward to getting this one out. I do like Thai Airways delivery on their wire bodies. Looking forward to uh, knowing what um, aircraft they go for. Uh, of course, they are thinking about purchasing more uh, uh, aircraft for their fleet. And the last one in today's unboxing is the Polar Air cargo 747-8 freighter uh, 9855 golf tango will go very very well in my cargo network looking forward to getting this one out in the open radio let's put all of the aircraft that will be unboxing today into the shop just going to quickly remove the box out of the way Right, how am I going to do this? Hopefully none of them fall over as I'm doing this. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any of these models in your collection. Of course, I've, I am, uh, wouldn't be surprised if you've got uh, the Pikachu Jet livery in your collection. I was quite um, tentative of, of getting the JC Wings mould. I almost ended, I almost got that one. Uh, but of course, MG Models came out with it as well. So I did Phoenix Models. Um, so, very, very happy to have that one in my collection. I've also got the Ornipon Airways um, Pikachu Jet livery on the way as well. So... That one is quite sentimental to me because, it, because the registration on it is actually my 
uh, month and year of my birth so it'd be quite cool to have that one in my collection let's zoom out just a moment for a moment so here we have all of the model aircraft we'll be unboxing today so let's go right ahead and showcase all of the models starting off the process of unboxing the models we have the first one the Thai Airways Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner released by NG models let's go straight ahead and see what the condition of the model is like if I can find the tab there we go this 787 will come in if it is intact will come in as streamliner number 113 that is of course if it is intact here we have the ng models card that will come in handy for the next ng models reward plan which should be in the next couple of days or or so nice looking cradle for the 787 get this out of the way the protective sleeve what okay I found something out watching uh, Sam Chewy's um, Gemini Jets video this here is actually meant to be for holding the model so then your fingers f fingerprints don't don't get all over the model it's amazing what you find out so let's get this model out of the cradle. It does look very, very nice. I am quite the fan of the Thai Airways livery. Doesn't it look absolutely fabulous? Because I have done the model review of the Thai Airways Boeing 747-400 by JC Wings. Go ahead and check it out in the top right corner. Right about now, if you haven't seen it already, very, very nice model. The Thai Airways Boeing 787-8. This is Hotel Sierra Dash Tango Quebec Echo. This, of course, would have been the fifth uh, number, or number 787 number five in terms of the 787-8s. Very, very nice model. Very, very nice indeed. This will come in as my second Thai Airways 787-8, my third 787 overall, of course I do have the the 1-9 being Tango Whiskey Alpha. Very, very nice indeed, the Thai Airways 787-8 by NG Models. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Number two for today's video, we have the MIAT Mongolian Airlines. Boeing 787-9 by NG Models. As I mentioned when unboxing the, the box, this model here was, or this particular airframe, was not taken up originally by the airline, of not um, Mongolian Airlines, uh, and then was used by um, Riyadh Air for them to show off their livery at the recent um, air show. I believe it was in France, I, I believe it was the Paris Air Show, uh, where the Riyadh Air 787 was um, showcased there. It was, then, it was then flown back to Charleston, so then the aircraft would, is, uh, or could be delivered back to this airline of uh, Mongolian Airlines so I did re I did previously have this model on order I cancelled the order when it was when the aircraft announced the cancellation of um, the acquirement of for acquisition of the 787 and then I re I uh, ordered it again after they announced that they would um, take take it on board so here is the model absolutely fantastic model 787 number 114 for my collection of course the uh, the fourth and last installment of my 787 series 
should be coming very soon just trying to work on the logistics of when I can do that um, just I don't really like um, filming videos when it's too warm in my room of course my room is um, to west, uh, westernmost uh, facing um, in the in this household and that's of course where the sun is um, in the backward part of the day and of course this summer is meant to be pretty hot pretty warm here in New Zealand uh, so I, I will try my best to get uh, to get that video out but of course going back to this video now here is the model absolutely fantastic and indeed I do like it really really much a lot you know because there we have the flag of Mongolia at the front there and then we've got, uh, is that Kabul Khan? I don't really know who that is. Might have, I think the where this airline is based in Ulaanbaatar, of course Ulaanbaatar is the capital city of Mongolia. I believe that the airport is called Changis Khan, I believe it might be. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this is a very, very nice model. MIAT Mongolian Airlines, the national flag carrier as it's mentioned on the fuselage. By NG Models, Juliet Uniform-1789, made by NG Models. Let's go straight ahead to the next one. Number three for today's video, we have the Ornipon Airways Boeing 787-9, uh, by NG Models, wearing the Star Alliance livery. As you can see in this very, very nice box, I believe this model here was released in the other uh, September release from last year, or it might have been the November release. I remember there was a lot of models in that release that I uh, was painfully get, trying to get myself. Um, I believe, if I, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video on the screen, but I can't quite remember uh, when about it was off the top of my head. Of course, here is the NG Models card that will come in handy for the next, um, there we go, that's when it was released, August of 2022. Or was it September? It would have been September because this, this one would have been um, printed before the month before. Very, very nice. I do remember that September release. It was horrid. Horrid for my wallet. Let's get this um, out of the way. Because that release had the Finnair A350, the Ethiopian A350, uh, also had the Pikachu Jet livery, which we'll be seeing next. Nice model, it is in good nick. Three out of three for this for the video. And there she is. Very, very nice. I believe this model here, with this particular airframe, was the first 787-9 to be to be uh, painted into the Star Alliance livery. I know there's some Dash 8s floating around. I think Ethiopian has one and Air India has one. Um, I think this and another one for an, an Born Upon Airways are the only Dash 9s in the Star Alliance livery. There's no 787s wearing One World liveries apart from the uh, Royal, I think it's Air, Royal Emirat, the 787-8. And in terms of Sky Team, there are no Sky Team 787s. There's only, there's only one Sky Team wire body, and that's for Vietnam Airlines, the A350. Um, very nice indeed, this model, very cool. Uh, Juliet Alpha 872 Alpha. Let's go straight ahead to the next one. Number four for today's video, we have the Scoot. Boeing 787-9 wearing the Pikachu jet livery. Very, very nice livery. This uh, brings me back to, or takes me back to my childhood. Um, that again makes me feel very old saying that. There are some of some Pokemon on this aircraft that I do recognize. Can't quite remember the names of them though. But there are some of them that I, I've never seen before. The Pokemon generation that I grew up with was uh, generation one. Of course, Pikachu and like Squirtle and uh, Barbasaur and etc. Um, Blastoise, I think its name was, and Charizard. Of course, here is the uh, the the card that would come in handy, as mentioned in other words before. 
hoping that this model here is in good nick because this is the one that I was really looking forward to seeing. Uh, the protective sleeve is underneath the model this time. So let's get it out. Very cool. And she is in absolute fabulous condition. Of course, I will do a model review of this one for sure. I don't really um, recognize this one here or well, this one. I know this is Psyduck. And there are a few on the other side that I haven't seen before. Um, this one here, I don't know who that is. Do you let me know in the comment section below? Of course, I know who this is. If, if you didn't know who this one is, I mean, where, where have you been? Of course, that of course being Pikachu. Um, very, very cool. I like this model a lot. Scoot, of course, is the subsidiary airline of Singapore Airlines. Um, very, very nice model. Cannot wait to do the model review of it. So, the Scoot 787-9, Nana Victor-9. Uh, Oscar Juliet Juliet we're in the Pokemon Pikachu jet livery let's go straight ahead to the next one number five for today's video we've got the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777-300ER this of course is in the regular livery one model that I would like NG models to come out with hopefully uh, in their next release or in in a future release it would be the KLM uh, orange pride livery I would go for Phoenix models or JC wings but they are very hard to come by now so it would be quite cool if um, energy models came out with that even though it would cost the, um, the price of uh, some sort of transplant because it you know the prices are getting rather expensive these days um, but anyway, here we have the NG Models card. Apologies for the lighting, just went down outside. Big cloud went over the sun, which isn't helpful. Um, let's get this model out in the open. Hopefully the lighting on the screen, you can see uh, watching the video. So that it made it this far, thank you very much. Um, hopefully this, the lighting is, a, is good enough for you guys very very the model is surprisingly heavy uh, I'm not too sure what number triple seven this comes in as but do stick around for my Instagram page um, of course that will be showcased later on in today's video but here is the triple seven today very very nice the sick the first of the two triple sevens in today's video uh, very very cool let's have a look at the GE 90s very very nice if you can see this one here the fan blades are fantastic of course in my my most recent unboxing I believe uh, or it might have been the one before that the one with 12 model aircraft go ahead and check it out in the top right corner right about now if you haven't checked it out I um, unboxed the Qatar Airways and the United 777s uh, by NG Models. So this one will go well alongside that. Sky Team livery just here. So the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777-300ER Papa Hotel dash Bravo Victor Victor. Let's go straight ahead to the next one. Here is number six for today's video, the uh, Emirates Airbus A380-800 wearing the regular livery for Emirates today. This is of course the, uh, not the new livery, but the uh, the livery before that. Um, of course the new livery comes in a blue box, of course this one is in the red one. So let's get this one straight out of the box today. The box could be in much better condition. She is. That's destroyed.
I'm expecting this A380 to be quite heavy. Of course, the, the Gemini Jets mold, or the JC Wings mold in that, in, that, in that sense, is usually quite heavy in terms of the Airbus A380. How many protective sleeves did they put in? Interesting. As expected, gee whiz, that is a heavy model. And here it is in the regular livery. This comes in as my third Emirates A380. The first to not have any other decals but the Emirates livery. My first one had the Expo livery here. The second one, of course, had the 50th livery uh, decaling here. Or it might have been somewhere on the, on the fuselage. But, of course, this one is in the regular Emirates livery, which is actually quite amazing. Um, very nice. I do like this model a lot. I might do a model review of it. I haven't done a model review of an A380 for a while, so may as well do one. Alpha 6 Uniform uh, Echo Uniform Victor, that is. Very, very nice model. Let's have a look at the other side. Very, very nice. Nose is in good condition. And there's the Emirates belly. Very, very cool. So this, of course, is the Emirates A380 Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Victor made by Gemini Jets. Let's go straight ahead to the next one. Number seven for today's video, we've got the Atlas Air Apex Logix uh, 747-8 freighted by Phoenix Models. This of course is the last ever, or was the last ever 747 to be delivered to an airline from Boeing. And of course the last one to be built as well. As of course on the box here we've got the uh, the flight plan that they did for the comm commemoration of the last delivery of the 747. And of course on the front of the box just here we've got we, the information of it. The 747-8 the freighter. Uh, November 863 Golf Tango. The last 747 jumbo delivered from Boeing to Atlas Air. At the Everett facility near Seattle on January the 1st, 2023. Very cool indeed. On the back of the box, before we go ahead and check out the model itself, we've got uh, Joe Sutter there. Of course, he was the one who uh, helped the help build or create the um, the 747, the first prototype, which is in Seattle at the factory there. Do let me know if you've seen that. I would love to go there. Um, to see the first 747 and of course uh, the one that I would probably be gushing over more than the 747 and that of course being the 787 there. Um, here is the model out of the box. Does look to be in good condition. I did unbox a an Atlas Air 747 in my last massive massive unboxing. It's the one that I a little two before. Of course, the one that had 12 model aircraft uh, unboxed in. A very, very nice one. It is, it is very, very... Um, it's a privilege to have the last ever 747 as a model. Um, it is going to be looked after quite a lot in my collection. Of course, I do treat my model aircraft um, quite nicely. It does look very, very nice indeed. I do love this model a lot. Of course, it does have on the other side of the aircraft, if we have a look there. Just there is the decaling uh, showcasing that this aircraft. Or showcasing the commemoration to Joe Sutter there. The Atlas Air titles and the tail fin there. Atlas Air titles on the bottom. Just hoping that the tail's straight, which it is very cool. 
Atlas Air Boeing 747-8 freighter by Phoenix Models. Apex Logic, the last ever 747 built and delivered to an airline from the Boeing factory at Everett Painfield. Let's go straight ahead to the second to last model. Number 8 and the second to last model for today's unboxing video. We have the Thai Airways. Boeing a 777-300ER by Phoenix Models. Um, Hotel Sierra Dash Tango Tango Bravo. I believe this one was the last of the Thai Airways 777s to be delivered to be delivered to the airline. Of course, I could be wrong in saying that, but I do remember in recent times that they had one delivered. I just don't know what the registration was of that one. Let's get this model out of the box. It is 7 out of 7 so far in terms of intact model aircraft. Does look to be intact in the cradle, but of course that doesn't really um, give it justice. We just need to have it in the hands. Right. So far so good. The tail fin looks a bit wonky from this angle. No, it is straight. I'm being a bit picky here at the moment. If the tail fin's straight, then the hot, for me the entire model was... Or, you know, if the tail fin's not straight, I should say, then the entire model's a little bit ruined, in my opinion. Um, of course, this is the second Thai Airways model to be unboxed in today's video. Of course, the first one, of course, was the 787-8. does look very, very nice. Um, as of course I mentioned before, a fan, a big big fan of the Thai Airways livery. The titles at the front could be a little bit, could be bigger, but the tail fin does that justice. Does looks fantastic. Have done the mod review of the Thai Airways A350 by Aviation 400. Go ahead and check it out. Top right corner, right about now. Got the GE, uh, the uh, General Electric. Uh, titles on the side of the engine there, very cool. Let's have a look at the other side of the model. Yes, of course, is the in the the insides of the engines. If I can get it to focus for you guys, there we go. Look at that, very very cool. Fun fact: my first ever model, my first ever model in 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 my model collection. Uh, came in my collection back in 2003 I think it was 2003 or like 2004 one of those years and that was also a Thai Airways Boeing 777 but of course that was the um, from Dragon Wings it was a 777-300 stock 300 not an ER just a 300 in the old livery of Thai Airways uh, if you, anyone would like to see a model review of any classic models in my collection, whether it is the Thai Airways A380, it's not, mu not much of a classic model, but of course it is quite sentimental. Or if you want to see the model review of the Air Teach Nui 78, uh, sorry, the Air Teach Nui A340 300, the Singapore Airlines A340 300, or of course that uh, Thai Airways 777, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll look to get that out for you guys but of course here we have the Thai Airways um, International 777-300ER Hotel Sierra Dash Tango Tango Bravo by Phoenix Models let's go ahead and look at the last model number nine for today's video last but not least we have the polar air cargo boeing 747-8 uh, freighter by uh, phoenix models this is november 855 juliet tango by phoenix models of course uh, i think my um my atlas air from the video i mentioned earlier i believe it was 556 uh, so the one delivered straight after this one very very nice let's get this model out of the cradle or the box but the box doesn't want to open for me 
Right. We're eight from eight so far in today's video. Let's let's hope that it is nine from nine, one hundred percent of the models. Does look very nice in the cradle there. Because Polar Air Cargo is an American based cargo airline. It is very difficult to open. Let me just do it off camera for you guys. Just for just for a moment. Just so I'm not struggling on the camera. There we go. The, the cradle is loose now. There it comes. As mentioned, Polar Air Cargo, an American American based cargo airline. I believe uh, based in Cincinnati. Uh, Northern Kentucky International Airport. They do have an array of aircraft in their, in their um, fleet. They do have the 777s. They have the, the 747s. Um, I think the, the 400 freighter and of course the Dash 8 freighter. But here we have this model. Very, very nice. It is absolutely fantastic. Of course, with partnership with DHL there. On the tail fin, let's just focus on the tail fin just for a moment. Looks very, very nice indeed. It will go well in my uh, on my cargo network, and slowly but surely building up my my freighter network. Um, hopefully, in the near future, we could ha we could have a cargo based uh, airport update. That would be quite cool, but the only thing that is stopping me from doing that is the fact that I don't have much um, G GSC in terms of cargo GSC. But this model looks fantastic. I'm quite a fan of, of the 747-8. Um, does look quite cool. Um, I, I do. I would say that I prefer um the intercontinental variant or the passenger variant over the freighter just because the the freighter looks insanely long uh with the shortened hump here of course the inter intercontinental um has a longer one a longer hump on the top of the fuselage but here we have the last one uh, of the video the polar air polar air sorry the polar air cargo uh, Boeing 747-8 freighter. This is November 855 Golf Tango Released by Phoenix Models. Let's go ahead and conclude today's video So that will do it for today's video guys Thank you very much for coming along and tuning in to the massive unboxing of nine model aircraft These nine model aircraft you can see on the screen now which model aircraft would you like to see the model review of the most? Which model aircraft you, did you like the showcasing of the most? Do let me know in the comment section below. But of course, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give a thumbs up to uh, to show your support of this on this video and of course the channel moving forward. And of course, if you'd like to see this more of this content. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel below and ding that bell icon to be notified for when videos go live out on this channel. I have more model reviews coming out very, very soon. The ITA Airways A350, the Azul A350, and of course, I do have it planned. The massive, massive C5M Super Galaxy by Gemini 200. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to work uh, uh, work out how to do that um, that model review, but I am it is planned. I hope to do it very very soon, but so do stick around for that. And of course, the airport update of the African movements coming very very soon. Airport update number twenty two, and of course some more unboxings in the future. So do stick around for those. S subscribe, din that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you very much for coming along and tuning in to today's video. If you would like to go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen now, you'll be, you'll be led to all of my links, whether it is Instagram, my website, my Patreon page, and my Twitter slash X page. All of the links in one, in one place. Go ahead and scan the QR code. You, you saw it in the video a, a few moments ago. Thank you very much for tuning in today's video guys 
I do appreciate your support. If you if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more on this channel, on the left hand side soon enough will be my most recent video on the channel. On the right hand side will be the full playlist of unboxings on this channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one.